Hello students, in this video we shall discuss question number 2 of exercise 1.4 that's chapter 1 number systems. Simplify each of the following expressions. First one, 3 plus root 3 multiplied by 2 plus root 2. Here we have all different numbers 3 root 3, 2 root 2. So we cannot use any identity. So first we will multiply 3 by this expression and then we will multiply root 3 by this expression. So equals to 3 multiplied by 2 plus root 2 plus root 3 plus root 3 2 plus root 2. That equals to 3 into 2 6 plus 3 into root 2. We cannot multiply 3 into root 2 as such. So, this will remain as it is. 3 root 2 plus root 3 into 2. So, again these are unlike. So, this will remain as 2 root 3 plus root 3 into root 2. So, we know that root A into root B is equal to under root A B. So, here 3 into 2 is 6. So, this will become square root of 6. And this is the final answer. And here we cannot simplify any further because these are all unlike terms. 6, 3 root 2. So, root 2 is here, root 3 is here, root 6 is here. So, this cannot be further simplified. Question number 2. 3 plus root 3 multiplied by 3 minus root 3. So, here we have 3 and 3 common. Again, root 3 and root 3. So, that means these are same numbers. So, we can use the identity which is a plus b into a minus b is equal to a squared minus b squared. Using this identity, we can solve this. So, here a is 3. So, 3 squared minus b is root 3 root 3 squared. So, that would be equal to 3 into 3 is 9 minus square root of 3 times square root of 3. So, whenever we are multiplying the same number and that's in root, this becomes a whole number. So, this will become 3. That means if you do square root of a multiplied by square root of a, this would be a and a can be any number. So, 9 minus 3 and that equals to 6. So, the final answer is 6. Question number 3. Square root of 5 plus square root of 2, the whole squared. Here again, we can use identity and that is a plus b, the whole squared is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Here a is root 5 b is root 2. So, that equals to root 5 the whole squared plus 2 times root 5 times root 2 plus root 2 the whole squared. And I told you that when you have the same number multiplied like root a squared this will become a. 5 root 5 squared is 5 plus root 5 into root 2 is root 10. So, that is 2 root 10 plus 2. 5 plus 2, 7. 7 plus 2 root 10. Now, this is in simplest form. We cannot add these two because here we have root 10. So, we cannot add this. This is the answer. And the last one, root 5 minus root 2 into root 5 plus root 2. So, root 5 root 5 root 2 root 2. We can use the identity a plus b into a minus b equals to a squared minus b squared. a is root 5, b is root 2. So, root 5 squared minus root 2 squared and we know when we are squaring a root, this becomes a whole number. So, this will be 5 minus 2 that equals to 3 and that is the answer.